Cycle 1, weeks 21, 22, and 23 are all about rocks and minerals, and to do these weeks, you need rocks and minerals kits. I got mine from Cornerstone Educational Supply. I'll show you what these look like inside, but for my community of over 50 students, we're doing well with just one rock kit and one mineral kit, and I'm going to show you how I do that. Um, that's what this video is going to be about. We also use the Cornerstone lesson plans for these three weeks. You can buy these lesson plans for yourself. I'll put the link in the description, but I think they're $3 per week or maybe five at the most, but so they're very affordable. So if you're not gonna use the Cornerstone lesson plans, um, then you don't really need to watch this video because the, the video is just gonna be about how I use the Cornerstone lesson plans and how I set everything up. So all three weeks are very similar. In my community, we have two classes doing science at a time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have both classes come into this, this area where I'm going to have three stations set up. And the three stations are specified in the lesson plan. All three weeks, there's three stations you set up. It tells you what to put at each station. Um, I'm going to have, since there's going to be two classes, there'll be um, two of the stations will have a tutor manning them, like sitting behind a table. And then the third station will have a willing parent volunteer. The parent does not need to have prepared in advance. I'll show you. I have laminated what they need to use, and they can just come in that morning. You can say, will you man this table? So it's not a big deal. Um, this is a good chance to let parents uh, have a little something to do who maybe aren't as involved usually. So it's not very challenging. So we're going to set up three stations, and for me that means like I'm going to have three tables set up with one chair behind each table for the tutor or parent to sit in. And then groups of kids will move around to each station throughout the science time. So that's how it's going to work uh, kind of logistically in my community. So yes, the lesson plan tells you, um, like I think the first two weeks, mostly use the mineral kit. So I'm going to show you what the mineral kit looks like. Here's the mineral kit. The things are numbered, and these numbers correspond to the, they're listed in the lesson plan as certain numbers. So that helps you identify them, um, know which one you're talking about, and do what you need to do to set up the lesson. So the rock kit is the same where they're numbered, and then that corresponds to what's in the lesson plan. Okay, so you've set up your three tables with one chair behind, an adult sitting at it, and then what the adult is actually doing, um, sorry, first, in all three weeks, there is a pre-discussion. And so I have laminated the pre-discussion, so one of the tutors, they can take turns each week, can, you guys can gather up the two classes to sit down or just to listen and read the pre-discussion. It's just like, um, giving them a little bit of background information, telling them what they're going to do, kind of setting expectations. So I've got that laminated so they can just pick that up and read it. And then they go to, um, you separate them into the three stations. So I've also laminated um, these sheets. It says station one, and it's got some stuff to read. So the kids will come, they're going to be looking, they're going to be touching, sometimes they're going to be doing things. But the adult that's at the table can read through this. And this will also, if there's ever anything specific to be done, like a few weeks you drop vinegar on the rock or you scratch on a plate, it will tell them to do that in the station instructions. So I have laminated these so that they can stay at the table so that whichever adult is there can just pick it up and follow along and do exactly what it tells them to do. So it's pretty simple. Um, the lesson plan also included these tables, which are sort of a cheat sheet for what the kids can fill out, and for what the kids can fill out. So the kids can either have these individually, um, and a lot of weeks, yeah, every week it's three, or actually this is only weeks 21 and 22 where they have these sheets. There are three tables that they can be filling out. So these are sort of the answer keys, all right, so that the adult at the station knows what the kids should be putting here as they're guiding the kids to figuring it out on their own, they'll know what the right answer is. Um, you might consider, if you've got little kids, which I'm sure you do in your community, you might consider making those charts, ah, sorry, 
you might consider making those charts larger and they either walk around as um, just like one per group and it gets written on by the adult who's at the table. The station leader could fill it out for the kids or you could just talk through it. So we don't need to force kids who are too young to be writing things. That would take way too long, even if they were willing. So probably one per group or even just one per class, you can think through which which you like better, whether you like individual little ones or maybe a big one for just groups of kids. But big kids can definitely handle having their own sheet that they are filling out as they go around. Week 23 has you testing some of the minerals and the lesson plan guides you to read certain parts of the geology test kit instructions, which is a separate download, but it's free. So I just laminated it so that, again, whatever adult is at that station can grab this, read through it quickly, and know exactly what to do. So you're supposed to read about hardness, using the hand lens, which is those, they're little bitty, I can show them to you, but directions on using them because uh, it, it is um, not necessarily intuitive. So reading through those, so I uh, laminated that, and now I don't know which week, but one of these weeks also uses some of these extra things. Here is, here's the hand lens. So there's specific instructions on using these little bitty hand lenses. And then there, one of the weeks calls for the green scratch pad. And this is all included in Cornerstone's geology testing kit. All of this stuff. There's some um, scratch plates that are in these kits. And I bought, I bought two kits for my, for my group. And in this little bag are a penny to scratch with, a nail to scratch with, um, a magnet, because we're going to test if there, any of the rocks are magnetic, and two little squirt bottles. One will have water and one will have vinegar, and it will direct you to use these things. So if you buy all this stuff from Cornerstone and the lesson plans, you will have everything you need to do a really great job with these weeks. So have fun.